is a push. It is a leverage for you to be fruitful. So you can't jump to fruitfulness without the empowerment from the Lord. So the Lord first come to push you forward. Until you have the revelation that Christ is the great physician, then you will be able to receive your healing. Without that revelation, you can never experience the healing of God. It is off your hands, but now the Lord is bringing you back. I'm going series on fruitfulness. I want you to know when God created man, he said, be fruitful, subdue the earth and multiply and increase. I want you to know fruitfulness is from the Lord. If your life is standing in the same spot, there might be something holding you. I'm here as bishop to start a teaching on fruitfulness and how you can employ certain principles to help you walk in fruitfulness. I want you to join me on this series and learn the principles of fruitfulness and your life shall be fruitful. Shalom. Genesis chapter number 1 and verse 27, the Bible says, so God created man in his own image and created he, him, male and female, created he, them. I love this scripture so much because it reveals a certain revelation many people have missed. So God created man, not Adam, man. In this man, there is a woman and a male or there's a female and a male if we may put it that way so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him semicolon who is the him male and female created he them so already if you look at that scripture it gives you an assurance that we are all created by god so spiritual position of a woman and a man is the same did you hear what i say spiritual position of a man and a woman from creation is the same. Let me go forward. Mental capacity of a woman from creation is the same with a man. Okay, let me go forward. Strength wise, a man and a woman from creation, they are the same. Oh yeah. Now, 
A woman gives up her strength, mental capacity, and her spiritual position from creation willingly only when she gets married. And that is where submission kicks in. But a single woman that is here, there is no man that is stronger than you. <laughs> now we must get this thing right. The only time a woman come under a man that she submits her resources, her capacity, mental capacity, her financial capacity, her career, her position. Even if she's a president of the country and she marries somebody who is just a counselor, for example, she is going to willingly reduce her capacity in submission to the husband, not that the woman is inferior. From creation, we are the same. That's where a woman now get tested. That when they marry, they now bring themselves under a man. Give me verse 28. I, I love the Bible. And God blessed them. Somebody said God bless them. And God blessed them and said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the face of the earth. Now listen to this. God said, be fruitful. Before fruitfulness, he first blessed us. You will never be fruitful without a blessing. What is a blessing? A blessing is an empowerment. It is a push. It is a leverage for you to be fruitful. So you can't jump to fruitfulness without the empowerment from the Lord. So the Lord first come to push you forward. As he pushes you, he activates your brain. He activates your body. He activates your mind. He activates your gifting. That is empowerment. As he activates this thing, then you become fruitful. So fruitfulness, it is the will of God. Somebody shout glory. So anyone who, does, who is not fruitful must know that it is not the will of God to be unfruitful. Tell your neighbor, I shall be fruitful. That's why God now, in chapter number 12 of Genesis, he brought a promise of fruitfulness. I want to run through this and close and let you go. Genesis chapter number 12 and verse number 1, the Bible says, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, somebody said the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of the country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto the land I'll show thee. And I'll make you a great nation. I'll bless you and make thy name great, and thou shall be a blessing. Which means, Abraham, you are alone, but I'm going to make you a nation. How will Abraham become a nation? Through fruitfulness. Because fruitfulness has to do with multiplication and increase. And I'm here to announce to you, ladies and gentlemen, it has never been in the will of God that whatever you begin remain in the same state. And everybody who is under my voice this morning, you shall be fruitful and you shall increase in the mighty name of Jesus. So whatever you touch is going to increase and is going to be fruitful by the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, I believe. So God said, Abraham, you are alone, but I'll bless you and I'll make you a great nation. The promise from the Lord is stronger than the curse from the enemy. I say the promise from the Lord is bigger than the curse from your grandmother. The promise from God is stronger than any curse that come from any person that may want to put you into stagnation. Somebody shout at me. So God gave a promise to Abraham and he said, I will make you a great nation. Leave the place where you are. And the Bible says he never gave a promise to Abraham alone. He gave it to Abraham's seed. And who is Abraham's seed? Galatians reveals those who are of faith. 
those who are born again, they are blessed along with Abraham. So if Abraham could leave the land of Ah with nothing with him, and yet after some years, when you read the other chapters, the Bible says he was great and he was blessed. I can speak to somebody confidently that in the year 2022, the way you began some years back is not the way you're going to be. The devil is a liar. If Abraham began with absolutely nothing, I don't care how you begin and where you began. I can hear the word of the Lord saying, you are about to increase and you are about to be fruitful and you are about to multiply. You are about to become a great nation in the name of the Lord. So if you are here and you are looking how you began, it is not how you are beginning. It is how you are going to end. And I know how you're going to end. You're going to end in greatness. You're going to end in power. You're going to end in dominion. You're going to end in abundance. You're going to end in multiplication. In the name of Jesus, shout power. A lot of people shall look at you this year. And they shall marvel. They will say, when you began, you had absolutely nothing. But see where you are now. And you shall sing a song. Come and see what the Lord has done. There are people right now who can't afford a house. They can't afford a car. They cannot take their children to school. But the Lord is speaking to me right now. That there is a season that is coming for the fulfillment of the promises of the Lord, you are about to enter, Lord, into a promise. You are entering into a realm. Praise the Lord. I need all the young ministers to know. I'll be running what we call mentorship classes. Number two, we'll be running open hair crusades and also tent crusades. We have a big tent called the Jesus Tent. I'll be going in different parts of this nation, South Africa. Should you want to be mentored by me, to be mentored by the anointing God has placed on my heart. You need to call the numbers appearing on the screen and we are gonna help you, mentor you in your ministry and help you grow. Number two, if you want us to come in your area for the crusade and you can spearhead it and organize it, we just bring the equipment, call the number on the screen and we are gonna come and we make sure that we put that crusade in your area and souls are saved. And those places where you want Holy Ghost Firehouse to be planted, let us know. We will be so much pleased to come and plant Holy Ghost Firehouse for you so that you may grow in the things of God. God bless you and shalom. A lot of people shall look at you this year and they shall marvel. They will say, when you began, you had absolutely nothing. But see where you are now and you shall sing a song. Come and see what the Lord has done. There are people right now who can't afford a house. They can't afford a car. They cannot take their children to school. But the Lord is speaking to me right now that there is a season that is coming for the fulfillment of the promises of the Lord. You are about to enter, Lord, into a promise. You are entering into a realm. You are entering a realm. When we talk about a realm, we are talking about a place. When you occupy it in that place, whether you like it or not, you have to increase. Whether you like it or not, you have to be fruitful. Whether you like it or not, you must walk in abundance. Whether you like it or not, you must increase. Shout glory. Shout glory. Shout glory. Shall glory. He said, I'll put you in a dimension. I'll put you in a realm. I'll put you in a place where you're going to become great and become a great nation. And when Abraham is leaving the land of Ah, he's not carrying anything. But what is he carrying? He's carrying the word of the Lord. He's carrying the promise of God. The promise of fruitfulness. Lord, we thank you for the year 2022. For we shall be fruitful. I say we shall be fruitful. I say we shall be fruitful. So whatever happened to Abraham, it shall happen to us. How do we know? 
and all those who are blessed along with Abraham sorry all those who are of faith they are blessed along with Abraham it means Abraham is my brother because of the faith that I have in Christ if I'm born again I'm entitled for the Abrahamic blessings if I'm born again I can walk in the blessing of increase if I'm born again I can walk in a blessing of fruitfulness I see people at Holy Ghost Firehouse who are going to rise in fruitfulness in the name of the Lord. Somebody shout glory. How does God give a promise to a man with a wife who is barren? How can you say you become a nation and yet my wife cannot give me children? We have been in the land of Ah. I am now 75 years old and now she's 65 and you say you make me a nation do you know abraham have been married to sarah for a long time but i want you to hear me the word of god is more powerful than any scientific discovery any scientific reporter any medical reporter the devil is a liar ladies and gentlemen 25 years later there was a manifestation of the promise of fruitfulness i don't know how many of you have been waiting to see her uh, some things changing in their lives uh, to see some business changing uh, to see their family life changing uh, to see their finances changing uh, I have an announcement to make this morning what is my announcement uh, your realm of fruitfulness uh, is now in the name of the Lord uh, shout I receive shout I receive your realm of fruitfulness is but now how do i know because if i am of faith i am blessed along with abraham oh lord i'm excited lord i'm excited read isaiah 51 verse 1 and 2 isaiah 51 verse 1 and 2 what does it say the bible says hearken to me you that follow after righteousness that you seek the lord Look unto the rock whence you are yuned, and to the hole the pit whence you are digged. Look unto Abram your father, and to Sarai that bear you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. Look at this one. Look at this one. Quickly. Hearken unto me, you that follow after righteousness. Seek, you that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock. Wait. Look unto the rock where you are yuned, broken from. And to the hole of the pit where you are digged from. A lot of us, we forget the rock where we are yuned from. That's why I like when she challenged and say, Daddy, I want you to show me the picture how I looked when I came. She's trying to realize the rock where she was hewn from. You need to know the anointing that makes you is the anointing that maintains what has been made. Sheba Daka Bayabaha. He said, look unto the rock. How many of you don't look behind when things become okay? How many of you forget you don't want even to realize who prayed, who stood for you, who counseled you, who supported you, who was there for you, which church, which altar were you crying at for the answer to come? I pray, ladies and gentlemen, that in this year, may there be an oath over your life. Even as you be coming before God, as you seek for increase and multiplication, let there be an oath over you that in blessing God shall bless you. And in multiplying, he shall multiply everything that you touch in Jesus' name. I feel it in here. In this year, 2022, even when the enemy went to push you backwards, he shall not make it. Even when the attack is from within the house, it shall not stand. Even when the attack is from the close friend, it shall not stand. In the name of the Lord, I pray in this year, may the Lord make you fruitful. May the Lord prosper you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a vow on top of your head that wherever you go, 
know when the enemy will attack you, he must see the vow made by God that this one you are tempering with. I have made a vow. Ukut in blessing, I'll bless this person. In multiplying, I'll multiply this person in the name of the Lord. May you never lack anything. May you never struggle in what you do. May people of influence recognize you. Whatever has been delayed, may it be released in the name of the Lord. You shall never die a tenant. You shall be a landlord. You never die a pedestrian. You shall drive cars. You never die an employee. You shall be an employer. You shall never die broker. You shall be prosperous in the name of the Lord. You will never die single. The Lord will increase you. He shall bring a husband. He shall bring a wife. You will never die barren. You shall have children. In the name of the Lord, I prophesy fruitfulness over you. Fruitfulness financially. Fruitfulness spiritually. Fruitfulness, fruitfulness. In the name of the Lord, shout glory. Shout glory. Shout glory. It's not the way you begin. It's the way you're going to end. Your ending shall be great. God was bragging when he was talking through the prophet Isaiah. He said, wait a minute. Look unto your father Abraham. For I called him alone with nothing. And look at Sarah, the one that bare you. For I called her alone. And I blessed him and increased him. Someone is about to experience increase. I say someone is about to experience fruitfulness. I want you to take charge of the land because you want to place my name on the harvest so that I shall become the God of your harvest. Jesus said, unless you abide in me, you can never bear fruits. I want you to know for your fruitfulness, you need to abide in Christ. Have Jesus as your Lord and Savior for you to be fruitful. I'm here to encourage you. Don't remain in the situation and the state where you are. Accept Christ as your Lord and Savior and your life will never be the same. You have tried everything. Try the best. Alternatively, come and fellowship with us. We are here in Neo Sprite and I know God will change your life. Shalom. To all our viewers at home, thank you for tuning in. If you would like a copy of the sermon or you'd like to fellowship with us, please visit us at 12 Samora Machal Street in the city of Mbombela every Saturday at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 8 a.m. For access to a vast library of content, visit our YouTube page, Holy Ghost Fire TV, and subscribe for free to keep abreast of the latest material from our ministry. Looking forward to seeing you again, same time next week.